Will they be the first team to win back to back since the 2017 2018 Warriors did it? No. I do think they, they got away with uh, a, a beaten down Eastern Conference, so they didn't really have to get tested that much in the playoffs last year. Um, and yeah, like I said, like teams got better. Teams got better all around them. Like Philly added Paul George, they added all those pieces on the bench. Knicks added Cat, um, and you're getting Brunson, who, I mean, he played like he was a top five player for most of last year. So um, the Celtics, they got lucky. Um, Celtics fans don't want to hear that because they won the chip. All power to you. But in, at the end of the day, like, that team, Jason Tatum doesn't really show up in, in the biggest moments. Jalen Brown had to carry them over the top. Um, so – to count on Jason Tatum to, you know, finally step up to the crown that he's been given for some years in, in Boston for some reason. I don't know. I mean, he might not even be the best player on their team at this point. So what was the question? I, I got off topic. <laughs> I got off topic. Will they repeat? Can they repeat? Can they repeat? I'm going to say no. Or we'll say no. Yeah, no, uh, no, I, I don't think so either. But uh, and I think Miles really stole my thunder there because that, it, it, that's what I was screaming from the mountaintops last year that this team wasn't tested. I think if the Knicks were um, didn't you know go through the injuries they went through and they got past the Pacers, they would have really challenged them and it would have been a coin flip series with that roster, by the way, uh, as well. And, and Jason wasn't playing well, and so that's the, that again. That's the wild card for them. He's their X factor. And when you're supposed to be a great player, by the way, a superstar player. You shouldn't be the X factor for your team. You shouldn't be the guy. I'm like, well, if he plays well today, then you're going to win. But he also could play like garbage, and then they're they're just going to struggle. It, that shouldn't be the case for a guy of that caliber. It just it, so this is why I refer to him as weird because he is a weird dude. He's he's as talented as anyone could ever be, right? Has all the talent in the world, but just seems to disappear in big moments and just does see his his performance just fluctuates way too much for me to be able to rely on him or bet on him or or say, oh yeah, you're going to get it done. Nah, so. Um, they're a good team. They have the talent to do it, but they just, I just don't think they have the mental makeup to get it done. Could be wrong. This could age very badly, but I just don't believe that they're going to get it done. Uh, a repeat, especially with the East getting as better, as much as, as much as better as they did all around with the Sixers and the Knicks making the improvements they made. If those guys stay healthy, man, any, any one of those teams can beat you. And, and God forbid, you know, the, the Bucks, you know, figure something out and, 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 you know, Dame, they, they figure out how to play a little bit of defense. If they could figure out how to stay in front of people a little bit, just a little bit, they could be annoying for you in a, in a second round series as well. So, uh, yeah, I think a year with Doc, we'll see. We'll see how they, they acclimate themselves. But I, I think there's a lot of challenges for that team to get back to the mountaintop, and I just don't see them getting there. Hey, you mentioned the Bucks. We're going to get to that division. The Bucks. Long as they ain't, they ain't playing Glorilla in the in the arena, they should be they should be all right. Uh, Glorilla is the best female rapper I I, I don't ever heard, bro. It, that was, I heard a little snippet. She hard. I'm just saying she's good. I don't know what it is, but something about her music just, just resonates with me. So I I, I love me some Glorilla, man. I heard a little snippet. <laughs> you, you ain't been listening to it. Friday, seven p.m. Friday. Not that. Not not that. <laughs> <laughs> There was another one though that was hard. I I don't think it came out yet, but I liked it. Oh, I <laughs> Miles he capped though because when we was moving, that song came <laughs> He's more. Lying. He's lying. Phone ring. It was like that's my and with me. I was like, oh. <laughs> so Ariana done took over his phone. Celtics oh, fifty eight and a half wins over under on the wins fifty eight and a half. I'm gonna say under. So Celtics, that's how Celtics over under. Is that what I just heard? That's a lot. That's a lot. I'm that's gonna say lot. under. Um, anything can happen. Uh, what is it? They still got Al Horford, right? They got Porzingis still. As long as those guys stay healthy, sure. Like 60 wins plus is within reach. But I'm gonna say they just fall back a little bit. Not out of like complacency or anything. Just it's tough to be able to do that back-to-back -back years. They might scale back their intensity to try to save up some, some energy for the playoffs and all that stuff. So they might win, like, what, 
56 games, 55, something like that. But this is a really good team still. Yeah, my concern with them is you mentioned the centers. Is Al Horford, he's up there in age. Porzingis is already injured, and I believe is Cornette is one of the backups in rotation. That probably is going to be their weak spot, but I'm sure – Brad Stevens, they're going to have something up they sleeve. They'll sign somebody. They'll get somebody off of waivers at the trade deadline, something like that. That's only my concern. Concern really with the Celtics is their depth when you're talking about the center position right there. 